Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my new playlist and in this new playlist I am going to cover next JS. Next JS is you can say a framework which is helping us with server side rendering uh, with react. Okay, so you might have already done little bit of server side rendering with react or with angular that is called angular universal. React also supports server side rendering and it has its own library where you can render the component from the server side by running a simple node.js server using webpack okay so in this whole playlist our focus will be on what next.js is how it is helping us to build a server side application server side rendered application okay so you might have already familiar with uh, the client side application using create react app right so what we do is we spin up a simple react application then we host this application somewhere on the cloud front s3 and then we are able to see the content on the browser okay so in this we will see what is the difference between a client side rendering rendering which we are doing with a create react app and server side rendering which we will do with next js app okay so first of all a little bit about me i have like eight years of experience working with javascript since last six years and working on different framework which is you can say like anything and everything in javascript i have worked on okay so in this course we are going to talk about next.js uh, in depth okay so first we will talk about what next.js is how to get started with it every framework now has a cli tool like angular cli view cli create react app similarly the next also provide us a cli so that we can spin up a simple application then we will talk about the folder structure of a next.js app how to create a pages how to create a routing how to do the dynamic loading of component how to create a dynamic routes right and how to style your component okay how the code splitting and uh, rendering is working with the next.js okay then we will talk about how the next.js server side rendered app can render the data which is coming from external interface like api you might be hitting some api doing some authentication authorization getting some data from the apis like github users and then you are rendering it so there is a different set of uh, life cycle methods which we have to use if you wanted to make an external api call then we will write a simple blog application which will have session based cookies we will write login and register route we'll talk about nested routing dynamic routing and custom 404 ps we will see how we can how we can have a search engine optimization with this server that rendered pages because now we have a freedom that you can override some uh, default head tags like metadata tags for each and every page so that the google engine crawler can crawl those pages and can make our site search engine optimized that is not possible that uh, in simple create react app or react app which we write because that is single page application only one index page is getting rendered and it is doing an internal routing and just navigating to a different different pages so next this is a advantage is you can have a search engine optimization seo capability and then we'll talk about how to do the api integration with the help of these different helper methods like get static props and all we'll talk about css modules because in next years we use css modules to to add on some styling for our html right so post css css modules sas modules we will be creating and first thing which we will talk about is the difference between client side rendering and server side rendering why we need server side rendering in a particular use case why can't we just write a simple react application with this basic lifecycle methods which i have already covered in the full playlist now wh what is the need of next.js right so there we will identify the difference that what is client side rendering what is server side rendering and how they are different from one another okay so i will say let's get started uh, with this new brand new playlist about next.js i will be covering lot of demos and i'm targeting at least 30 to 40 videos on this playlist so stay tuned thanks everyone